Welcome to Excel Basics series video number 18. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, we're on the Sheet tab Data Analysis, and we're going to talk about data analysis sorting. <coughs> now we have, um, but before we do any data analysis, sorting is the first thing we want to look at. You got to have your data in the right format. That means field names at the top. So you can see I have date, region, sales rep. Field names at the top. Those are columns or fields. So all of the variable data in the sales rep column are sales reps. All the customers are customers. So field names. And then each row is a record. Now, very important, there are no blank columns, no blank rows. I'll control Z on that. You got to have all your data together. Once you have your data together set up in this, it's called Excel list or Excel table or Excel database. You can use all your data analysis features like sort and subtotal, pivot table, etc. Let's look at sorting. Now, sorting is uh, once you have your data set up correctly, very simple. The trick is you click in one cell in the column you want to sort. Now in 2007, you can right click and there's a sort. And then it says A to Z or Z to A, smallest to largest or largest to smallest, which is very convenient. In 2003, you have to go up to the uh, toolbar. And in 2007, it's in the ribbons. There's A to Z and Z to A. So we'll click on this. A sort in 2003 is also under the data menu. I'm going to click sort. Now what was so important about that is one cell was selected. I'm going to control Z and watch this again. When I go here, watch the whole table. For a second it will be highlighted because all the cells are touching each other. Excel knows to go and highlight the whole table and sort all of the records. In fact, I'm going to click escape and prove it to you. We'll go like that and we'll add some color. Right, ready? Here we go. Data, sort A to Z. Zip. Just like that, it highlighted. And if you scroll down here, somewhere way down at the bottom, zip, there it is. There it is. So it actually retained that record. So that's sorting. Now, um, when you want to sort by more than one column, let's say you want cost of goods sold, but within product. Uh, no, no, customer right here. I've sorted this one first. So now let's try this. Uh, Whatever, wherever your A to Z button is, you click that. Now we have Amazon, and within Amazon, the cost of goods sold are uh, sorted. And then when you go to the next uh, customer after Amazon, it's Costco. So then it starts again. Let's do it again. Let's do sales rep, data, and then sort. So now it's uh, sorted here, primary. This is the, the major key or primary key that's sorted. Then by here, then by here. So you can see chin, chin, chin. Sales rep Amazon, and then when it gets to Costco, it changes the, the sort there again. All right, so that's sort. You can sort on as many as you want. It's just whichever is the primary major key, you got to click on that one last. So you, in essence, start here, then there, then there. There's also the sort dialog box, data, and then the sort and sort and filter sort dialog box. Now, the way it works here, when we did it with the buttons, we had to click here first, then customer, then sales rep. So sales rep was the last one we did. Here, when you are using this dialog box, you have to actually have the sales rep on top and then add a level, which would be our, our customer, A to Z, and then add a level, and then we'd have to do our cost of goods sold, smallest to largest, and uh, then click OK. And that would give us the same exact thing, but that's how you'd have to do it. Now, um, I want to show you left to right um, sorting. So I'm going to scroll over here and just make a little data set. <coughs> Rad 1. I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to put the number 1, tab 2, tab uh, 6, tab 5. And what I want to do is sort. So I'm going to highlight here, go up to data, and then this sort dialog box. The sort dialog box in 2003 also has this options button, and then it gives you the option to sort left to right. When you click OK, it'll ask you, where do you want to sort? Sort one or two, and I want to sort by row one, smallest to largest. Actually, let's do largest to smallest. And then see, it's sorted at 6, 5, 2, 1. So you can do it left to right. So that's sorting. 
I'm actually, uh, when we come back, we'll do uh, subtotals. Remember, as always, if you want to download the workbooks, go to the Excel is Fun channel and then scroll down here on the left. And sure enough, there's a link right there. And these have uh, the workbook downloads Excel basics. You can even go uh, download my book. It's 144 pages and then print it out. And there's all the other links for the workbooks. Is the address right there.